So I just one of your some some of your biggest takeaways after reviewing the film from last night. You know, I thought um, overall, just first half, uh, we didn't get off to a great start. Um, we have to be better at understanding that in the playoffs, the intensity is higher. The game is going to be played harder, and we, we didn't figure that out until the second half, so we can be better. Um, with that being said, six-point game in, in the third, fourth quarter, and we were shooting 33% from the field, so there's some things to be encouraged about. Willie, a ton of looks at the rim. Probably a dumb question, but how do you become more efficient there? We just have to be patient. I thought we were rushing. Uh, we were getting offensive rebounds and trying to hurry up and go back up. You know, a lot of times you get offensive rebounds, that's a good time to catch and then turn and look to the three ball. Um, so we can be a, a bit better with just being patient when we get those opportunities. What have you liked about the minutes that Trey has given you, especially in these two play in the game? He's a floor spacer, and um, he can guard multiple positions. He rebounds the ball well. But when he touches the floor, you know, guys have to guard him because he can knock down the three ball. Are lineup changes something you look at going into game two, considering how they were playing you defensively? Not at the moment. You know, I think as a group, we, we didn't have a great first half. And that, that wasn't one individual. That was us as a team. We have to be better. We have to do the things that we do better, harder, with more force, and um, see where we are after that. How much more effective can Jackson be when he's on the move? It seems like once that early third quarter when he was cutting, it, I think he drew three or four fouls. And just, how does that help that offense when he's moving around? It helps us a ton. Um, Jackson is very aware that when his teammates are, are being guarded a certain way, he gets to the spot, he keeps the floor space. We have to trust it. We have to trust each other. Same thing we've been doing all season. And um, that was our message today. When you say do it better and with more force, is that pretty much what you saw in the second half? Somewhat. You know, I just saw us executing better. I saw us adjust to the speed and the physicality of the game. Um, and that's what better and more force means, is that we need to make that, that adjustment right away. We can't wait to the second half to do it. What do you like about what Trey has done up to this point to make sure he's ready for this moment, even though his minutes have been kind of up and down throughout the season? He's just putting his work in. Guys know that their moment, their opportunity can be at any given time. And so just staying ready, staying sharp, watching film, getting with your coaches, getting your, getting your shots up. And he's done that all season. And what do you think about the way y'all were just uh, able to attack the offensive boards uh, against them? Uh, like you said, you like the, the way that lineup looked. And what did you like about the offensive rebounds in particular? I thought it was fantastic. That it's, it, that's not something that we don't do. We, we crashed the offensive glass, and so we just did it better, especially uh, with missing a ton of shots. You know, there were, there were a ton of rebounds to get. Now we want to make some more shots, so it probably won't be as many offensive rebounds, but anytime we can get in there, we want to. Really, when Chris went on that run there in the, in the fourth quarter, uh, said last night that he could hear you say under to, to go under the and they kind of they kind of started smirking to each other in the club. Just You guys knowing each other so well, both sides, I'm, I'm just curious, kind of those the chess match, the, the in-game adjustments. I mean, how does that kind of play out, especially early in this series? Yeah, we'll keep making adjustments and keep trying to find ways to be better down the stretch. Uh, Chris hit some big shots in the fourth quarter. We know that he's more than capable. He's done it a number of times, and we have to force him to do things that he doesn't want to do. And we were just looking at this on the way over here. How crazy is it the last time CP played a, a playoff game in New Orleans, you were in the lineup for the Hornets, and now he's still doing this at this age. What's it like just seeing him still excel at this point in his career? This is a credit to the type of uh, basketball player and person he is. He, he, he'll do anything that it takes to give himself an opportunity to play as long as he can and, and at a high level. Uh, and it's commendable.